I'm not sure if my luck is getting better. My eyes are getting better at finding these. Or what's going on. But uh, what's up YouTube. Yard Show Cycles here with a tandem bike. Now I've been wanting a tandem for a while. No, not really. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I saw this I saw, and I was like, I want this. Turns out I was right. I should have bought it. Because I did. Um, the wheels are trash. So let's forget about the wheels. The wheels don't count. That right there is a Jack Taylor tandem bicycle. Handmade. Once again, handmade tandem. Didn't know who this guy was. So obviously I looked him up and I he was a racer in the 30s and uh, he started a building bicycles with his bro two brothers in the 40s and 50s all the way on not really sure why I'm not even sure if they still make them but um let's do a quick walkthrough and see where we're at here should we start with that crank that crank I don't know it's two cranks but um let's start with this one so I don't even know what to say about it it's uh <laughs> it's got a one star in <laughs> the opposite side which powers this star on the opposite side which powers these two stars it doesn't even have a brand but you can tell the quality of them look at that just like look look like a little dip right there a little groove in there <coughs> excuse me uh matching pedals hopefully i'm gonna overhaul and now someone tried to rebuild her probably in the late 80s and they put a Shimano front derailleur, which is wrong. They put a Schwinn rear derailleur, which is wrong. But they kept the cool stuff. The railers, that's, you know, that's not a big deal. The cranks are a huge deal with this bike. The pedals are a huge deal with this bike. The Mathac brakes are awesome. Look at this. This is like... What the hell are they doing? They put a nut and then they tied it. I don't know. I don't know. They bent the crap out of this. Uh, whatever random seat they found, they just threw on. And I kind of like when bicycles have this. Like this just shows it was ridden. And there's a uh, Jack Taylor. They did repaint and you can tell because the blue just goes somewhat inside the actual sticker. So, not original paint unfortunately, but looks like they did a half decent job at covering the stickers so they don't get completely wasted. And these are supposed to be Campagnolos, which they're not. The front derailleur is supposed to be a Campagnolo, which is not. The rear derailleur is supposed to be a Centaur, which is not. But, you know, it's got the matching fat back brakes, which are just cool. I just think these, like, you know, you can tell, once again, paint job right there. Um, I think this is the original Quilm. But I'm not sure what happened that it doesn't fit anymore. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, Jack Taylor. And it has these bolts throughout the whole bike. Which is cool. Because it's like, see it there. And then in the back. I almost fell right there. But I didn't. And then you can see the matching cranks. So, do the drops have any names? Looks like they're hurt. There's a serial number right there. I'm gonna look into that better off. But uh, drop bars, matching drop bars with track, with track bar ends on both of them. Just a cool bike. Once again, uh, wheels, trash. 
700 so they're going to be reused i mean i'm sorry they're going to get new ones and just like little cool stuff like this like made in england you can see right there maybe you can't see but trust me this is made in england once again guys jack taylor handmade england bicycle tandem bicycle yard cycles out